the NHS, our NHS, have once again been discriminatory, this time against people with learning disabilities and autism, by giving them a do not resuscitate option so that they could protect the NHS beds during lockdown. A DNR form, are you kidding me? This is absolutely disgusting. What we discovered thanks to the Telegraph doing some digging and to find out this really, really dark piece of story. I mean, I've been trying to keep my cool during the previous videos today that I've uploaded, even though I was outraged. This time, actually, this is just sad and too far. Where is the inquiry? Where is the media calling for a press conference with Sajid Jabbi, with Boris Johnson? Where is everybody? Why is no one talking about this? To just find out how far this has gone. Is this true? Is this false? Is this fake news? It's not, because we already have the evidence, at least from the parents of a certain patients who went to the Telegraph as well. But let's just do some digging. Let's do investigation. Do not resuscitate. Because during lockdown, they wanted to protect the NHS beds. And they didn't want the beds to be occupied by people who don't matter as much as people who are part of the new cases graph. Are you joking me? Is this something that we do? This publicly funded and controlled NHS, the nationalized healthcare service? This is not good just to protect the hospital beds. Now, Telegraph has uh, spoken to a number of... Uh, uh, parents, but also people who have uh, witnessed this practice by certain healthcare professionals, certain healthcare professionals, not everybody. It's a disgusting question, they said in the parents, when they, when they offered them the DNR form saying, would, would you like to sign it? And apparently a number of patients who obviously were, had learning disabilities, they, they didn't know, they said yes, until their parents then came and said, whoa, 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 what are you doing? Don't just say, don't ask questions and don't just say yes randomly, let's find out what's going on here. Now, the health assistant, one of them, was following a, a form when she politely asked, would, would, you, would you like to sign this DNR form? Because I've been told to give it because, you know, you clearly don't matter as a patient anymore. And another woman who's the mother of a 16-year-old a person with a, or a autism as well, saying that, well, they initially, part of the appointment was to just bring it up in the appointment. Why, why is this happening? I mean, I'm not really sure why. Again, as I said, the lack of outrage Apart from seeing the Telegraph publishing it and people talking about it on social media, some people, there is no outrage. I'm still waiting to see if this is going to get a bit, become a big story or not. And I'm not going to let go. I'm going to use my channel to find out exactly what's going on. Because if they told us that our NHS needs you to stay at home, to not use the NHS, if you think that was too far, no. Because if you have a learning disability, you are not the same as... The rest of us, according to these idiots, this is bad. Discriminating against people, different groups of like people just based on certain categories is not how we do things. Also, let's not forget, none of us is perfect. Everybody has something. There's no such thing as normal. So like, I'm not going to name names of people in the top of the cabinet who have their own issues, health issues, mentally and physically. If you want to discriminate against people physically and mentally, then everybody is in some sort of category. So stop doing this. If you want to be unifying NHS, you told us to not use it. You're still telling us not to use it. And now you're saying that, well, some people, we could just tell them to sign the DNR form and we could just get rid of them. We don't need them around. There needs to be an investigation to find out exactly what's been going on. I want to be proven wrong. I don't want to just randomly create allegations. But the, the, the Telegraph done that research and they found a couple of cases like that. We'll find out more. I'm going to keep you guys posted, hopefully. So subscribe to the channel. I'm going to come back in the next video. I'm Mighty Sin. We are the media.